I believe most of you are familiar with Martin. And I'm also confident that many of you are familiar with the extremely reputable games of 100 rated chess. So I thought, why not create the most brilliant mix in the history of the galaxy? So I started investigating his games, looking for a game against a 100 rated opponent. And it didn't take long to find this masterpiece of a game, between the 250 rated prodigy, and what seems to be a very honest businessman. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. The game starts with e4, we have d6, and h3. It seems that the player with the white pieces is inspired by the world champion's preparation. Or is using a random number generator. But anyway. We continue with e5, then d4, knight c6, knight to f3. Very good. This is starting to look like a game between two intermediate players. But now it certainly doesn't. White develops with knight to c3, Martin develops his queen, so his opponent immediately attacks it with the knight. Martin, I know how much you like to gambit the queen for content, but it's a bit early. Thank you. And by the way, it's been 6 moves and we haven't seen any terrible blunders. Maybe they're better than we thought. Yeah, forget what I said. The 100 rated player sacrifices the knight for no reason, so Martin, as the principled player he is, accepts the gift. In this position, he should simply take the pawn, but he develops his knight to the edge of the board, so his opponent jumps with the queen to h5, and all of a sudden, Martin's advantage is gone. But it gets even worse. Martin plays knight to h6, and now he's losing. The reason is that bishop to g5 just wins the queen, but even bishop takes knight is very good. Another beautiful way to win is to give a check, and if bishop to d7, you play e6, brilliant move, and after this long line you end up with an extra piece and a completely winning position. So obviously, our 100 rated protagonist saw this line, but he just played the wrong sequence and started with e6. Which can be taken with the bishop. But Martin, chooses to bring his knight back to the game, at the only time he shouldn't. White should still play bishop to g5, but he chooses to take on f7, and now Martin is once again better. Wow! I have no idea why Gus is so fascinated with sacrificing his followers, I mean pieces. But anyway. As we all expected, Martin accepts the gift. Then, we have e5, knight to d4, then we have e6, then bishop takes e6. I could be going insane, but I think Martin has become resistant to the high level strategy of Hope Chess. A few moves later, White takes on e6, and Martin takes with the Bishop to d6. Martin, I don't think you understand how trades work. I know you feel bad for him because you're up material, but this is an important game to decide if artificial intelligence has a chance to rule in the future. Yeah, it all comes down to a game of chess between the lowest rated bot and the lowest rated human. Moving on, we have bishop takes f7, queen takes f7, and g4. Hold on, let me get it straight. So the 100 rated player doesn't care that he's allowing a queen trade when he's down material, he only cares that it's on his own terms. Which are horrible. Castle. Another castle, but one small difference, it blunders mate in two. But the important question, can Martin see it? Of course. The 100 rated player has to trade queens and try to defend the end game. But I have a feeling he won't settle for less than a win. See? We all know humans are greedy. But will he see it this time? He didn't. And he didn't again. And again. And again. Oh my god! Oh but his opponent has some intentions on the H file, so Martin this could be your last chance, so use it well. 